Hey there folks, how we doing? Uh, I'm gonna try to make this real quick. I gotta go back down to the doctors. It's uh, Friday, June 24th, 2016, 3.19 p.m. Uh, some of the meds and prescri prescription are missing. Hello. I stopped on the way home and had some uh, guacamole, and it's a little bit salty. Uh, okay. Um, this is something I was looking at right when I was finishing the end of my last video from earlier today. Um, I was seeing something going on in space. Um, there are some people associated with this federation and others that aren't and others that are even aggressive um, against the uh, fed this federation. Um, this federation thing fo folks just like your governments and everything else are going to fold right down on themselves. They're being taken out not like blown up or something stupid, okay? They're going to be taken away. Um, that's how they get taken out. Then the real people uh, will be back in charge. Um, well, there's a whole new federation coming together, as I've said recently anyway, uh, out there. But some of these idiots uh, that feel they have, that the own part of the planet is what they were told, and that has to do with this wonderful federation that everyone, oh, it's the great federation coming. Yeah, they've been selling pieces of our planet. <clears throat> the right to do things in different sections of this planet, like take its minerals from it. Oh, yeah, water, all kinds of stuff. It's unreal. Um, anyway, um, some of them, some people who were promised this and promised that and paid for this and paid for that one group, but it's a, uh, it's like a, a bunch of colonies of miners. Uh, uh, this, um, most of them on this one planet are miners, and these these are some older races. They've already d exhausted their planet, so now they want to rape Gaia, and they've been doing it for a long time. And by the way, your governments have been more than happy to allow it. Just give us new toys. You can have whatever you want. Um, chemtrails. They're poisoning all of us. And do you think there's any other issue with other things here on the planet? I mean, they're killing you. Why do you think they would care about the planet? They don't. So anyway, see, the, the things that are, are elite, quote-unquote, on this planet, they can get off planet. They go off planet from time to time. They've already been promised you have a place to move. And a lot of the other folks, they're just threatened with their life. That, you know, they're, you know being killed, them and their families and everything else. So, you know, there's all kinds of ways that they go at people. That's going to be hammered from the other side. There's so much stuff here in the body that doesn't deserve to be here. That's only in bodies. Nasty spirit that's in a physical body because it'll help ruin your lives. That stuff, the, these people are going to be literally dropped. They're just going to drop dead. You'll see it coming soon. Wait till 20, 2017. Okay, I'll just say that. Um, late 2017. It's going to be uh, second half of 2017. Uh, it's going to be a cleansing. Anyway, um, uh, all right. So, so anyway, these idiots are being taken out, and being uh, done with. Now, um, that's relative to our planet, but it's also relative to everything else, everywhere else. Okay, it's time for creation to get cleaned up. That's how it's going to happen. Okay, you can't do that. You just be you. And stand up for yourself, stand up for your neighbor, those that you love, and just leave it there, man. Okay, the rest is going to be handled. Um, hey, Herky, I love you, buddy. Um, 
Now, because some of these people are really upset about this blockade, it's, it's a solid blockade. You 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 go into this soft energy, it, it starts messing with your electronics. You keep going forward and hit that barrier, it literally destroys, disrupts, pulls apart the physical matter that is your ship and you. Okay? So, uh, a few of these idiots actually shot at a few of the drug. Um First, they tried attacking this planet that the Drak of... Um, uh, that the Drak were protecting and, you know, taking care of. Um, they weren't surrounding the planet. They stated this planet's under our protection. So these idiots uh, actually went over there and started taking out installations and, you know, uh, populated areas on the planet. Bombing people, killing them. Uh, wives, uh, husbands, daughters, you know, old, old children, everything. So uh, the drunk retaliated and left very little of their planet that's not smoking, you know. Um, and I will say this, it was surgical, but there was so much crap there, there's not much of anything left on that planet. Um, so that's, and that's kind of cranked things up a little bit for these other folks to get stupid, and they, they just, a few of them got taken out, but now uh, um, the drunk will go to their planets and everywhere they already know these folks are, and they, thank you, and they're going to take them out. Um, also, uh, remember this, the drunk have been around the longest, okay? Um, there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot more than anyone knows. Anyone. The only one who has any heads up on that is the antids. And they presume. And they can actually go in and touch each other mentally. Yeah, damn. Anyway, uh, So, I don't see that getting to be too big because nobody can touch the drug. Now, something else. Um, the Draco. A long time ago, uh, when I heard uh, Corey Good say the Draco, and that, you know, they weren't really too happy with those folks at all, um, I saw the Draco. I saw the word Draco, I see it, and then I look all around to see how everybody's, what everyone's thinking about when they say Draco, and they're thinking about the Drak. Uh, I saw that, I said, well, whatever, I don't care. People, I'm doing a lot all over the place all the time, okay? I, I don't have time to get into every little thing. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not here for that, and I'm not staying. I, I have more important stuff to do for all of you. It's like people say, Jay, this guy said this. What do you think? I don't give a damn. I don't care. I'm busy. You know, whatever he's doing, whatever, I don't care. Unless it's someone I care about that I need to take care of, like Corey, because he's really cool, then I, I'm going to go ahead and just let it go. I don't have time for that crap. A lot of people get told that, just that they were being told that for years now, just trying to get me off of what I'm doing, trying to break me away from uh, uh, finishing my job here, so I can get the hell out and finish making the change on the other side. I got when I go home, that big old hammer goes down to that table, tears it up, blows it up. That's the end of it. Um, I don't like talking about all this stuff. I don't like saying anything about me. tired of this. Anyway, um, uh, so anyway, where are we? The drug? Um, so, the, the, so when, but when I took a look at it further, I said, what, yeah, I looked at Corey good. I didn't go in his head hard. I just touched what's in his head and he's seen the, the Draco really being a problem. But then I went into his head and when I got, when I, when he, when he's thinking Draco, I went to look at the actual beings these beings being called the Draco, I've talked about a, a previous time, but I didn't give them a name because I, I don't want to just make up names for stuff. I don't care. I got to go. I got stuff I got to do. I want to touch any important stuff and go back to what I'm doing to get out of here to take care of you all. You, you are my job, okay? Not every little thing. I, I don't care about that. So anyway, um, uh, so I looked at, um, I, to, I told you a long time ago about... Uh, uh, the number four commander of this uh, uh, Federation ar Army, uh, or, you know, wh what do you call it, starships and all, um, military, uh, is a Sapoian general, gentleman, and a uh, really cool dude, 
Uh, he happens to be uh, Air Energy inside. Um, I've, I talk with him every once in a while. Um, I talked about a starship. I, I mean, a huge Federation ship that was, you know, just kind of sitting there doing something, um, engaged, doing something with some other ships. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, here comes another ship, comes in with a bunch of young, uh, young folk, um, reptilian. Hey, Herc, I love you, buddy. Good man. Uh, they're reptilian, but, uh, um, uh, and they have some drop DNA in them, but, you know, it's, they're, they're, they, they promote the drop thing, like, we're drop, we're drop. No, they're not. There are other beings from another planet, they have their own name. They've been infusing themselves with drop DNA whenever they can get their hands on it, and they've been doing that for, Uh, it's, uh, it's over a hundred generations. A little over a hundred generations. So they, you know, they're intelligent reptilians and they, they have some aggressive, aggressive drug DNA in them. But having a little bit of drug DNA does not make you drug. Drug is drug. So it's important for me to tell you now that the Draco, D R A C O, thank you, the Draco are not drug. Period. Draco, or it is a totally different race that's named, nicknamed themselves Draco a while ago. I don't know how long. Whatever. Um, I said uh, it's uh, oh, it's over a hundred generations, but remember these things live for hundreds of years. <laughs> so anyway, uh, there the ship that pulled up that era outside of the body just went up like this and just crushed it like and compressed it into a little marble. And that's when the other issue went on with the Anunnaki. When I, the clans, I was going to say I met with the clans. Hell, they came in here to the house. The Herky right over here. I had a bed over there then, uh, a second bed. And uh, one of them got him upset, and then I just went a little nuts. And then they, everything got closed off. They left, licking their wounds. Um, anyway. Uh, so when you hear Draco, folks, that's not the Drac, or the Draco, whatever. That's not the Drac. Honestly, I should have looked at that more carefully before, but I'm sorry, I got too much stuff. You know, I'm trying to do the best I can, covering as much as I can, and then go home to finish it. Turn that light switch on. So. Um, there's going to be some skirmishes here and there. Uh, the drop bow to no one. I mean, they they have grace and honor, and we do it to each other. But it's, they don't, they're not going to have anyone tell them what today was the proper wording I should have said. Um, when people meet, there's like a, like a soft bowing of the head, which means I honor your presence. That's what it means. I, I offer you my respect. Uh, and, and I offer you my honor to show you. Um, I said, that's a, a, an incredible thing for someone to offer you. Animals did, whoa, I'm trying not to go there. Um, animals did that uh, for me and, uh, a while ago, and I was just, uh, well, I was like this, huh, <laughs> falling apart. Anyway, um, it's just the meaning of sincere respect and honor, shared honor. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, the, the Draco and not the Drock, please don't get them uh, confused. They're totally different uh, beings. And the Draco, it's a nickname for whoever they are. I, I refuse to accept Draco. It's, it's like me calling myself a sh Shinubian. I'm from planet Earth, a human being with spirit inside. <sighs> Alright folks, um, I gotta go out and get the rest of the scripts I got left out. Um, Doc was asking me about it and I couldn't think. My blood pressure is so high he freaked out. <laughs> my, uh, it's funny, my, uh, he started to get a stethoscope and started to listen to me uh, breathe.
but he could hear me gurgling actually better without, you know, with, with the stethoscope. With the stethoscope in, he had to put the stethoscope on me. Without the stethoscope in his ear, he could hear me gurgling so bad, it was just kind of funny. He said, I don't need these. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, so funny sometimes I'm going to do a video very soon I have to get, get down to the docks for the gloves but uh, I'm going to do a video soon and I'm going to talk about the most abused part of creation the most important reason for me to be out of this body and I want you to watch how many hits it gets compared to the other stuff. And they're the reason I've been pushing so hard and actually threatening to drop this body for years. <coughs> so, um, <clears throat> it'll be about uh, the truth and beauty and honor of animal spirit. You wait and see how few hits that gets over the next two months. And then you'll understand a little more about why it's so important I get out of here. Um, what I am inside is furious. Um, it's doing a lot. That part of me outside and the other side, uh, I was trying to use it to clean up some of my own energy that was just being goofy. It's like, no time for this. Take it, grab it, clean it, freeze it, store it. Um, so I tried to use that thing to do it and it started killing it. I mean, that's all that thing's there for is to kill. Um, I guess that's why, you know, there's like next to no issues at all. It's just dealing with parts of myself that are being silly and I don't have the time to be silly. I've told you all before that in spirit, the bigger you get, the more little pieces of you, you know, break off. It's just a normal thing. So, whatever. Anyway, um, love y'all, man. Uh, but the, 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 the Draco are not the Drac. Totally different thing. They, they, they're smaller in size. They're more slender. They're more like a salamander, smooth, than they are the Drac. The Drac are powerful. They're literally like a dragon, like a, like a humanoid dragon. They're incredibly powerful. Remember, the Drac race was born at, during the second life ever had. That's when Lily and Ara had their second life. And after the first one, they got ripped up so bad and eaten up and torn up. When they went back to have a life, they made tanks for bodies. That's the origin of the drug. These Dracos are little DNA-fed uh, usurps. Um, whatever. I love everyone and everything, but uh, when something's aggressive against something else, that's my turf. Folks, I love you, man. Have a good one.